What's up guys, my name is Spec, and welcome back to Budget Builder. This is episode 2. This is a series in which I take a traditional team builder and put a little spin on it. And let's get into the rules if you haven't already seen them. I make a team from the allotted pucks. The profit carries over from episode to episode. Use the team to play the entry cup, one and done, and after I sell the players for a hopeful profit. And this episode we start off with 13k pucks. I know it says 10k up in the right hand corner, but I got a little antsy and I already bought some players and I forgot to uh, show that part. So, picked up David Perron, James Wisniewski, and I do believe it's Kevin Shattenkirk. So those are the three players. And yeah, so this episode was 13K. We ended up making 13K last episode. So that's what we start off with this episode. And let's get into the team. Able to field some pretty pretty decent players. David Perron. Jeff Carter, Antti Miettinen. I, I decided to pick up Antti Miettinen so we could have some line, some line chemistry in there and make those guys even better than they are. And on defense, you can see that James Wisniewski and the Kevin Shattenkirk. I decided to put Wisniewski on the left-hand side for that one-timer shot because he has 85 shot. And in net, we pick up big old Steve Mason and we have Josh Harding that was in last episode but we were unable to trade him because he was fatigued. And on the second line, we picked up Scott Gomez. I almost called him Steven. DeHarnay and Devin Saitaguchi. Greg Zanin and Daly on the points. The defense was a little little, little top-heavy there. And we got third line, Ryan White. I think his name is Ryan White. Gostad and Radulov makes his return. Lebda and Mathot on defense. And the fourth line, Darch, O'Brien, and Thorburn. So we're a little top heavy. We're a little top heavy. Our fourth line and our third pairing defense aren't the greatest. But let's get into the highlights. See, I'm not, leave a comment. I'm not sure if you guys want me to go hot roulette style and commentate what's happening, like play by play, or you guys just want me to sit here and every so often I'll comment on the gameplay, but. I think I want to take this time to talk about what this series basically is because finding tips, well not really finding tips, but figuring out how to play the market and get the best bang for your buck and make the cash money. You see there, we win the first game, 3 nothing, big ol' empty netter. But I wanted to talk about some of the tips and stuff that I found that have worked so far during this series to find better players. and. Make the most pucks that I can while I start with 10k and I definitely want to be able to make it up because so in NHL 14 I want to be able to have a ton of pucks because more pucks means better series for you guys. So we're learning right now and one of the best things I've found so far is, I don't know, some of you might not be able to do it, but searching late at night and selling at midday the next day. Well not midday, like maybe around 6 o'clock. Six, seven o'clock when people are playing, that's when people are wanting to buy things. More people are on, so that's going to raise those prices up. And I find buying them late, late at night, like I work, I work late, so I'm usually up pretty late into the morning. So that's where I find my best deals where I can make a couple K on each players. And that's definitely what I do. And what goes along with that is you don't want to, unless you know what the player is selling for just stick stick bidding because you're gonna usually you're gonna overpay if you buy now so you want to buy it for the absolutely lowest that you can and usually if you're up late and you're bidding you're gonna do just that Jeff as you guys can see in here there was a lot of steals that I made and those are where I was searching late at night Jeff Carter with an injury, so that's going to cost a couple couple pretty pennies, pretty pucks in the consumable pile. So that's a, that's a, that's the second win so far. So this team is actually this team is very this team is good. I I like them better than the first first team, but we only we lost the first game last one, but we're definitely doing better here. We're off to the third game. This guy with ooh, Toronto and we're just working around. Lebda. Nice save. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But that was a beauty goal. So, so far, that is what has been working for me. Staying up late and finding those those deals and then selling them. 
then I usually put them up for about like 12 hours or so and then they're up for the next day during the day that's when definitely more people are going to be playing so it's working out for me don't go buy now unless you're starting you get familiar with the players and you know that you're going to make immediate impact where you get you're going to immediately make a couple pucks back so definitely when you're starting off with a low amount every puck matters so and you definitely want to be smart about it. you want to field a good team because you're also going to get the pucks from winning the games so and then another thing try to play when well I don't know definitely take advantage of when they have the two times pucks I don't know how much they're going to do that in NHL 14 but they've they've been doing it pretty pretty often so far in NHL 13 at the end of it at least so they're definitely showing that they're they're wanting to do it so hopefully we make more pucks via wins and games in the next one because it's definitely a little lackluster there and we see David Perron with an injury so he's definitely gonna take some pucks away from all our stuff but we have won three games in a row with this team Steve Mason is absolutely dynamo for I think we got him for just over a thousand so Steve Mason is freaking amazing for the amount of pucks you you pay for him so you can definitely I think this team is a five star team either five or four and a half and that's 13k pucks so that's a very decent team you just gotta watch out those la those last few players just on your fourth line, don't play them too, too much, because they will get outplayed like a son of a gun. So, so far, so well, we are in the finals. We're down one nothing. Mathot, going to take our ripper. That's a save. Blocker save. That should have went in, but they come back the other way. Danny Alfredson over to Kopitar, and Kopitar is just going to finish. And give him the 2 nothing lead late in the third period, and we cannot come back from that. We get kicked out of the tournament so sad man it sucks we definitely that I outplayed him totally but that's just the just how the cookie crumbles this but this series so far it was a success and at this part of the episode this is where I sell the players so as you can see David Prawn was selling for that and we sold the Josh Harding because he was in the back and I sped this up a little bit this is just going through all the guys that I sold but as you guys know from the previous episode I will show the profit charts. This is just to go through showing the guys that I sold, just so you know. I'm not really lying <laughs> at all. I'm not saying that I made more money than I did, because I did not. But if you guys are looking through, I definitely made some profits, and we finally sold that Jeff Carter. So, I'm going to cut this off, and we will go into the profit charts right about now. So as we look at the profit charts, feel free to pause at any time so you can see what I bought the players for and what I sold them for. And so for this episode, Wisniewski, Perron, Shattenkirk, and Jeff Carter were our big ticket items that made us the most profit. And we look at the second set of players, not as much profit, but if you are continuously playing games and selling players like this, you will see your pucks rise in no time. And let's look at first bit of results, the EA tax for selling the players in the auction house just under 1,000 pucks. Consumables cost me 450 for those couple injuries. Additional pucks we made 4,546 pucks playing games and daily 25 pucks and I did not use 32 pucks to field this team out of my allotted 13k. So start pucks 13k and pucks 22.5k for a profit of 9,462. That is amazing. I am very very pleased with that for this second episode that is awesome i hope you guys enjoyed this episode don't forget to rate comment and subscribe my name is spec and i will see you there or i will see you another time